Hello, this is a short instruction video on how you can make a really bare bones or bare boards Arduino uh, on the Proto. Uh, so in this 15 minute video I'll show you how to quickly put this together and how easy it is to do a bare boards Arduino with the Proto. So stick around. Hello. In this video I will show you how to make a bare boards Arduino on the Proto and how easy that is. I have already in a previous Anything Arduino video shown how to do a bare bones Arduino. It's in Anything Arduino episode 2 actually. And what you need is an 80 mega 328 and a 16 megahertz resonator. That's the simplest kind of uh, oscillator to use or clock pulse for the 80 mega. I'm also going to use a socket for the 80 mega so I can pull it out and do the programming in a uh, Arduino Dua Mi Milianova um, s or Uno works as well. Uh, Uno or do a Milianova. A any of the Arduinos that has a DL socket, DL28 socket for the 80 mega 328. So you just pop it in there, put the program on, put it out, and into your bare bones Arduino, the protoboard in this case. So when using only plus volts and ground and not the negative rail, you can choose to have both of the uh, lines down the top side to plus 5 volts in this case and the and the bottom side you have uh, ground so that means that when you have both minus and plus voltage you only get one on each side and you need to jump over from time to time but when using only plus volt and ground you can have plus volt on all the pins on both sides and ground on all the pins on all sides. And that makes, for example, this much easier. And as usual with the protoboard, the t it is important you get the top side done correctly first. Um, because once you get the socket on, it is very hard to get to the solder points below. In this case, I like to put it somewhere in the middle. Um, it is good to, in my case, 5 volts, like that. So I know it is 5 volts, so I don't accidentally add uh, 12 volts or something in here, because that will fry the Arduino. I'll start at I. That's a good place to start. Uh, going down to V. Um, so now we need to have voltage plus on pin 7 and pin 20. So we remove that and I is 1. So we count <coughs> so we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So pin 7 to plus 5 volts, like so, and then V is 15 on the other side, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's count that again. 20. So now our plus 5 volts is done. Uh, we should also add a header to add the plus 5 volts and ground. And do that like so. And in this case, we want to have 5 volts on both 
pins on, or both buses on the top side. And we solve that with a small jumper that we just pick. I pick the top row here and we just add that. Like so, and we push it down so we get solder on all these points. So that one and those two, those two, and that one. So now we, ha we should have plus five volts on both sides. And we can check that by doing We do not. That was a bit tight in there. So now we have volts on both sides. Right. So plus volts is done. We can now add this in place, just making sure that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is there and fifteen. 20. And again, before doing this, just make sure that you don't need plus voltage on any other pins. Some of the projects that you make with an Arduino could make you need to have plus 5 volts added. It's better to have too few than too many because, I mean, it is, after all, just a normal protoboard. And if you forget one, you just take 5 volts to that pin from uh, any other place of 5 volts. And now we can continue with the ground. So we need ground on pin 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's P. And on the pin 8, we can see count up here. So pin P8 should be connected to ground. We find P8 there. And it's going to the ground. And also pin 20. 50, 60. Sorry, uh, 22. 20 was voltage. 20, 1, 22. So that's 0, 9. 15, 16. 0, 9. Oh, and nine, so that's that side. And that's connected. And again, we can just make sure that it is, yes. And also that one. Oh, sorry. One last bit, that's it. Then we should have the oscillator or resonator in this case connected to pin 9 and 10. So that's. So that's Q and R. And it's the two outermost pin of those three pins, and the middle pin is supposed to be connected to ground. So it would have been ideal if these were in a different order. But they're not, so we can fix that. Uh, so we're gonna, the middle pin, we're gonna bend backwards a bit, and then we're gonna bend the legs on the side in so they will be next to each other. Uh, 
and like so. Let's see if this is good enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine and ten. And oh yeah, it should be a bit to the side as well. So those two in one line and the one there fit by itself. We say Q and S. So here we move it on the side of those three and the line you see here divides those three connected to the IC to three other uh, on it on their own. And with that the ground does not connect to the other two. Just making sure. And that's it. So we can solder that in place. And now we need one final thing and that is that metal pin that is now standing there on those three needs to be connected to ground. And luckily the pin next to it, pin 8, is ground. So what we do is we just solder these two together and add a jumper between these two. Or we can add a jumper down to that one but it's simpler to just do that. Here's a jumper. Just a leg of an old component, like so. On version 05, this in between is still a bit tricky, and I'm still working on that, so that's good to know. But it works quite well. And we make sure that we have ground. Let's see, we have ground and to the ah. and to that one. Yes. That means we're done quarter of an hour of me speaking, doing other stuff, and we have our Arduino bare bones done. This is an Arduino, ready to go. And to prove that, I have a ready to go, a prepared LED with a 330 ohm resistor, just so uh, I don't didn't have to make do that. And all the holes are through hole plated, so we can actually do this. So pin 13 is 19, so that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We can just stick it in there and connect it to ground over on that side, like so. And then we add 5 volts from somewhere, in this case an, another Arduino. And let's hope we get this working. And here we have the blink sketch. So in 15 minutes with me rambling a bit as well, we have a fully working Arduino on a proto board ready to do something awesome with. And just to show you, here is one that I did the Jan Ostman O2 on. So for you who like the analog part of things, here's the O2. So, an amazingly fast way of building an Arduino project. So, uh, go to the 
proto page on my website or go to my Tindy shop or Thonk or any of the other places that I hopefully have this selling on. You can find the list at sorcerystudio.se slash proto.asp. Um, link in the description. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and take care. Bye.